Hello everybody, this is Havoc, and welcome back to Europa Universalis for playing as the Empire of Italy. In the last episode, at the very end, we took out these guys, or these little rebels. We have a ton of rebels, and something we're going to have to deal with uh, pretty much for a while. We've got a lot of stuff going on, and I really don't know how to fix it. I'm assuming that once we get this overextension done, then we will be able to work on it then. Uh, aside from that, I think we're just going to have to kind of chill out this episode. I don't want to do anything too over dramatic or just drastic in general. If we can stay out of wars, then we will. Um, uh, discovered a noise, canceled military rights, as so as Lithuania. No big deal there. Uh, military access to go war with France. Absolutely. That will work. We have 4,400. Someone in our employ has just died. Improved relations. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, conversion successful. Uh, I don't know that I really want to. I want to do anything to it. We may just wait. We may just kind of chill out with that. Uh, but yeah. So if we can, we will definitely just uh, recoup and do all of those good things. We gain core provinces everywhere. Oh, and that really reduces the rebel faction rate. So we'll definitely kind of keep an eye on that. We've gained another core province, which has really dropped down all of that. So we're going to kind of chill out with the expansion in this episode. The only things that I might do is see if I can't go to war with Sardinia. And then see if I can't go to war against Sicily. Either of those two, and we kind of really completely consolidate. Let's see. We can make them break alliance with... Austria, but not Savoy. Can we influence these guys to break their alliance with France? We can. Okay. Let's work on that. Do I have a Costas belly against them? I should. The House of Corrigio with the union of Gion, Galizio the First, and Angelica. We've gained not only a spouse, but also a new ally in the realm. The Dor Corrigio is an old and influential family, and their seat in Firenze is the jewel of the empire. Of course, friendship. Has to go both ways, and Angelica will be expected to speak for her kin, while our Emperor is expected to consider such advice very carefully. Awesome. Get a 233. Our marriage Empress Consort is pretty high. I don't really know if that really affects us or not. I'm not sure, but we could declare war now. Those guys would go to war. I don't want to take any of them with me. Uh, so what we're going to do here, we have a two-star general. 39,000 troops. As so we can see over here, we're doing pretty good. Only two armies that don't have a general. Internal conflicts, the Bruccini. Let's go ahead and just... The smuggling of a sugar. Our tariffs have caused a great upheaval. Uh, if we send the demand, if we lift the tariff, we get a Venetian Columbia gets minus 5% liberty desire, but we lose 1% tariff value. That's fine with me. Uh, so we're going to go here. We can only transport 28 at a time, apparently. And then we'll just automatically transport the rest of those guys. So aside from that, like I said, there's only two regions that I really want. So if we can convince Austria's, oh, Australia has sent a diplomatic insult. No big deal there. We are suffering some high seas issues. Not real sure where is this going. Oh, I see. No, no, no. We don't want him coming over there just yet. You just come back over here. Oh, we do have two colonies that I forgot about. So we're going to send one there. Send another guy there just to kind of complete all of that. Hopefully we can get there before any other colonists do, before any other countries. And you, my friend, come back here. There we go. There we go. Brilliant. Now, another thing we could do is we could start building up. As you can see, 244. That's how many uh, ships we can have. And so we could really start building up our navy. Go ahead and go there. And um, um, let's go here. The Tyrian Sea. Actually, let's go up here in Corsica. Hitting Cape Bon. And we are going to declare war on these guys. Stability effects. Doing a nationalism. War goals to take Kalargi. If for imperialism, we take that.
We get minus 71 aggression with 102 countries. Tidor, Sardinia, Prestige, minus 8.3% administration efficiency, plus 77. But the thing is, they're not going to vassalize with us. We might as well just go to war with them. They're in a truce with France. We're going to declare war. I want to take Cagliari. Oh, hold on. Sorry. No, we don't have a truce with them. Hmm. We'll build a spy network. And we won't declare war just yet. We'll get ready for war. Now, we can also uh, make these guys... We got 100... Um, Spy network with Morocco, sorry. Uh, tariffs too high, except to lower the tariffs. That's fine. Uh, we can... We're trying to improve relations. I don't know that I want to worry about them. I was going to kind of consolidate them, but we're not going to worry about that. What we are going to do is we are going to corrupt their officials. And we are going to... Oh, I guess I can't sabotage recruitment. Should be able to in the next part. Use the control panel. Let's go to the next one. I didn't even know we could do that. That's really cool. Okay, so we should be able to move on to them. Our legitimacy is a little low, but it's not too bad. Now what I could do, again, is start working on... My army could get a little bigger, but naval units are really where it's going to be at. So let's go ahead and build some things over here. We're going to build a lot of these three-deckers. What is upkeep on these guys? 0.68 per month. We're just going to build some really big ships here. There we go. We got that going on. Heavy frigates, archipelago frigates. Let's get some heavy frigates. And then the rest will be transport ships because I do need quite a few transport ships. Yeah, we can build a lot. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Looks like we're about to get drug into another war. Not good timing, Russia. Not freaking good timing. Three, forty-four. Okay. The nation of Russia, your faithful ally, is requesting you come to their aid in the second Russian crusade against the Ottomans. This is a war they have started. They're allied with Tunis, Kiva, and Vijan Nagar. If we would join as a regular ally, we would lose 25 prestige. If we didn't, we decline. We also gain diplomatic reputation. Minus one. For a, a pretty decently long time. And we are already at minus 0.45. question is who joins this we'll go ahead and accept it I'm not happy with it right now and we will go ahead raise war taxes just so we can get some extra influx of money yeah I'm not real pleased right now so that's gonna delay See, these guys have a greater morale than we do Good lord. We need to retreat. Okay. Well, that really, really sucks. I'm thinking. So we may lose that army. This guy could actually come up here and besiege some areas. Russia, Hungary, Italy, and Wallachia. What would be the best spot? Let's see, a place that has a lot of regions. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. This area right here. We're going to go up the coast of Gujarat. Those guys. 
Um, and then what we could do is we could actually draw in our armies from over here. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. This really sucks, though, because we're going to be stuck. Yes, we lost. No, I don't want to rent any Condotterati. These guys are moving in nice and strong. Truce with New France has ended. Truce with all of the French colonies has ended. Where is my... We've gained core provinces. Awesome. Casa's belly. They are moving nice and slow. Okay, what do we got here? Pass the Abolition of Slavery Act. Uh, if we do that, missionary strength goes down by one. The technology cost decreases by 5%. Every province owned by Italy will stop producing slaves. I, that, I'm fine with that. Then we need to add a new policy. It looks like agricultural cultivation is the only one we can do. Development cost minus 10% and land force limit modifier. I like that. At the cost of one admin a month. So now, it actually gained us quite a bit. I like it. Um, unfortunately, all of our fleets are dead, basically. And all those guys that are not producing slaves now apparently have their own thing. Sweet. Royal marriage, Austria. Still doing good. Um, abolitionism. With slavery now banned in Italy and other countries likely to follow, it seems transatlantic slave trade will be seeing a sharp decline. This will decrease the demand for slaves. Price of slaves changes by minus 40%, but we gain 10 prestige. Okay. I am okay with that. Here comes my big old fleet. Hold on. No leader. Cannot be assigned one. Okay, well... That's extremely unfortunate. Just keep rolling, dude. We're at 5%. If, if everything goes to plan, we could potentially not have to do anything. Wouldn't that be nice? Here we go. Ooh, it looks like we can gain something, um, a, uh, ability. All right, so we could do anti-revolutionary zeal, liberty desire, minus 33 point, or so a third of a percent. Napoleonic warfare, artillery bonus versus forts. Force march cost, cost no power, global naval engagement plus 20%. I like that, naval engagement. Definitely something we want. All right, I'm pause again. Here we go. Oh, look at this going on here dice roll for attackers oh minus two very nice supply limit plus six we do have a much higher morale military tactics are not and then discipline they have a higher discipline but it looks like we're gonna repel them very nice Not much else I can do over here. Did I declare war on them? Breaking a truce and war exhaustion. We can purchase an idea. Free trade plus one merchant. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. That's fine. So we now have a new merchant. Let's go ahead and get into trade. Sort by value, the English Channel, our current trade power. Collecting from trade there. We can go to Lubeck. Let's do that. Let's transfer some trade power. There we go. Our ships are popping up, but there's really not a lot we can do. There's a huge fleet right there. So we'll just kind of have to kick it like it is for a little bit. Italian Mexico has entered into... Uh, hold on real quick. 
has entered into a treaty support for independence with our disloyal subject Italian Mexico oh France has entered into a treaty oh well that sucks They don't like me. We'll be okay. Okay. Um. Can purchase another one. Oh, here we go. Okay, which we, we got to decide which one we want to do. I'm thinking. We could do offensive ideas, which would give land force limit modifier. Um, or we could go down to quality ideas, get cav combat ability. I'm gonna do a land force limit modifier again because we're close to doing that and our army morale speed increases as well, which I think would be a good one. Uh, and then that last one actually is the discipline plus 5%, so I really think that would be good. Now our land force limit modifier is 275. We could get 275,000 people. Which is crazy. Have you recovered yet? You're almost there. Uh, let's go ahead and come up here. We may kind of start influence this. Oh, and I also realized I have a ton of papal influence. What can we do? National tax modifier, yearly legitimacy. Let's go ahead and do that because our legitimacy is very poor. Proclaim a holy war. Mercantilism, diplomatic relations, which is something else. Let's go ahead and do that. Yearly inflation reduction. I think our inflation's fine. Yearly prestige. Don't care so much about that. National tax modifier. I'm okay. We'll be all right. We will be all right. Also trying to like see if there's a place where I can kind of reach out. Oh, very nice. We just, they just took out people over there. We're taking this settlement pretty quick or this province. We do have all of these places. Look at that 85. Holy crap. That is a lot of three-deckers. I will say that. Let's go ahead. We've already lost quite a few there, so let's... Could get some more. That's going to take a long time on these areas. 44. There we go. All right, what are we doing? Our coast has been raided by Tunis. I really wish I could do something about them. I see all of these ships, man. We'll wait for those guys to get away. Nope, they're still coming in, okay. 57% of the way there. We're conquering them. Pushing them back. No one's come into our lands over here yet, thank goodness. Um, let's make them break an alliance with Austria. Oh, they won't do either of those. The Siege of Budalvindagar is over. Okay. Let's go to Ankara. Siege that area as well, and we do have it now. Have an actual good port, so that will help as well as oh, I wish I could just consolidate a hundred. Okay, we got to take a look and see just how big the fleet of these people are. Looks like Great Britain is 274. Tunis only has 87. Well, then how do they have a hundred over here? Oh, the Ottomans are in there with them. Okay. So, in theory... I could throw all these guys together real quick.
Throw all these guys together in Rome. Not over there. Move quickly, lads. Quickly, quickly. Those guys are over there. Let's go ahead and consolidate all of these dudes into Constantinople. You come over in that point. Oh, look at this. The Italian West Indies are over here. Yeah, you're about to get destroyed. Yep. But we're taking over quite a bit of the Ottoman Empire. And we're, at least me personally, is being decently relatively smart about it. Weird. Uh, trade costs us protection belly. Whatever that combination of words is. Uh, let's see if we can't do some buildings as well. We're going to take a break here. Just a moment. Uh, trade. It certainly helps some trade. Uh, estate. Free slots. Production. Not so much. A manufactory. Could do an army land force limit modifier. I don't really need that. Taxation. There we go. That's that's something to start it off with. Uh, but we could also do some buildings that increase our manpower. That's how we really we really get that in here. There we go. Okay, so we're all we're pretty good co um, consolidating that. It looks like they're pretty much getting completely owned. It could change, I feel, but we're at 40%, and I don't really see it changing all that much. We've renewed war tax. So let's go ahead and take a look at the armies. We are currently in the lead. Morocco's got quite a few... Azuron. What about Tunis? I don't see Tunis even like on the map. There's Tunis. Ten thousand troops. Um. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna move across into Tunis together. Okay. We're just gonna do that. Oh, look at this. Look at Wallachia coming in. Look at Russia. Good lord. Tunis can't even come in. Discontent zone. We can do improved production. Let's take a look here. Let's go ahead and sabotage their recruitment. Our truce with all those guys is expired. Man, we're really making some good headway. I'm not doing anything. All of those other guys are. I mean, that works. Siege of Ankara is over. Let's go ahead and go to Bolu. Oh yeah, we're taking over that whole empire. And then soon, my forces will be rocking it over there. A Berenas. Spread of disease. Attempt to assuage their pain. And we really only have a couple of uh, rebellions going on. Italy has occupied Bolu. We're occupying that. What else is there really to conquer? I guess we could go ahead and get way down here. And then we're going to work on these guys. Which both of these armies are kind of suffering some attrition. But as soon as we get into here, let's go ahead and give him a leader. It's decent. And we are overextending our... Our, our stay 
But getting into here, getting into Tunis and wrecking them on land since we can't really take them on at sea is going to be the best way to do it. Undefended territory. Very nice. Look at that. That is just glorious. Ports are being blockaded. We're going to go ahead and let them do all their stuff down there while we get over in that point. Oh, oh wow. There's a decent amount of troops from Vijayanaga. However you want to say that. However you want to say it. This. We've occupied some more areas. We're just going to hip hop and skip over each other in that regard. I guess, oh no, they were over here. They, it looks like Hungary's about to get, oh no, Hungary did repulse them. Well done. Oh yeah, this war will be over with soon. Don't you worry about that, boys. We'll be home by Christmas. Oh, we have to take this spot. Okay. Okay. Ooh, rebels, that's not good. Rebels in my area. We'll get it taken care of in just a little bit. Um, and then this 32-man army can come over here. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Military leader has left us. That's no good. We could go this way. Siege of El Karak is over. Let's come up here and take out these rebels. Tunis is occupied. Oh, crap. They are over there. Okay, cool. Nope. Come back down here, boys. Cultural unrest. Try to negotiate. We need a leader. We have a super crappy admiral. He doesn't do anything. I don't like him. He is just as bad. Good lord. This is terrible. Okay. Um. Hmm. Oh, and we have troops over there. Oh, crap. Soon this war will be over with, I feel. Yep, they're rocking it over there, and they're going to just destroy me. Just a little bit. Oh, we got those rebels taken care of. So there's something. A revolt. I can't get over there, so there's not much I can do on that front. Is this actually even... No, this is Italian Brazil. We lost. Oh, I didn't even know we were fighting over there. The siege of Segu is over and another revolt. We can take care of that one. Well, our men are coming. We will find them and we will kill them. 77%. I mean, we got to be done soon. Right? I mean, I'm tempted to just make my own. Of course, I couldn't do anything. Okay, well, we'll just wait. It'd be better for us to wait anyways. I mean, we could just recruit some people. We have that ability. Great Britain has canceled military access rights. Okay. Oh crap, you can't take on the Ottomans alone. Well, you did and you lost. Bimbos. 
If Hungary comes in here and tries to take out the Ottomans, then I'll be marching right along with them. Looks like they are going to do it. We're going to reinforce. Uh, trouble in Italian Mexico. The colonel in Italian Mexico army is making a name for himself as a strong proponent of armed resistance against Italy. Not real sure. If you guys know how to fix that, let me know. Siege of Segu is over. Okay, well, we're going to try and trap Tunis. Russia's occupied about everything that they can. I mean, we can come down here. But, I mean, aside from... We just got to take on Tunis. Figure out how to kill them off. I don't know what these arrows mean. Oh, it's units relocating. Ooh, okay. 83% now. Oh, hey, they relocated up there. Sorry. Oh, never mind. Uh, the Hungarians got it. Quartermaster Massimiliano Pallavicini has died. Land force limit modifier. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Italy has occupied the Gold Coast. Brilliant. Come up here. Oh, they did get wrecked. Perfect. They still have a very, very large presence there. Oh, a gift of 24 ducats. Thanks, man. Um, oh, here we go. Perfect. That's the end of it. So the attacker casualties were actually not as much. Let's see. They lost 176. I only lost 44,000. The Ottomans lost 123. Tunis lost 96. Oh, wow. And the Vizianagar have lost a lot. Wow. I did lose quite a few ships. 13 ships. All right. Ottomans will give cores. Oh, they will cede Sivas, Azure, Bacan, all those to Russia. Ottomans will give core of Fiom and Circe to Egypt. Ottomans will give cores of Basra, Haddam to Persia. They will release Hormuz as a sovereign state. This peace will cost 285 diplomacy. Um, a total of 31 prestige will be divided by Russia. Italy gets five. Uh, Italy will gain 17 power projection. Very nice. We've gained nine favors. I like it. And now we have a truce, right? That's how that works? Okay. Uh, okay, well, we need to consolidate real quick. Right at the very end of the episode. I like it. Come over here. You two ships come here. We are at our maximum of ships, correct? Just about. Uh, we could actually change that up a little bit, but I don't think we will. And I'm going to go ahead and consolidate all of those into one big area. But guys, that's the end of this episode. So we survived Crusade. The Ottomans are wrecked. They lost a lot of land to Russia. A lot of land. Uh, we could go after Morocco, I think, at this point. I don't know that Tunis would come in and Togart and all those. Austria would come in, take the Ivory Coast... Yeah, we'll just have to see. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Be on the lookout for the next episode of Europa Universalis 4, playing as Italy. This is Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace!